This is a daily news update from Coyote News. Roberts County arrested the largest fentanyl seizure in South Dakota history. I'm Rachel Pekosh and this is your last daily news update for the semester. USD is the co-recipient of nearly $1 million for a campus cyber infrastructure grant. The funding was granted to the South Dakota Board of Regents from the National Science Foundation's Campus Cyber Infrastructure Program. The grant will provide high-speed access to advanced computing and data storage resources shared among all South Dakota public universities. A grand jury indicts a woman from Burbank for homicide and manslaughter. Joyce Ann Hawley was indicted by a Clay County grand jury on November 7th on three charges, including vehicular homicide and second-degree manslaughter. Hawley allegedly had driven a vehicle on July 8th through the garage of a home in Burbank, exiting into the backyard, striking Elizabeth Williams. Williams was flown to a hospital in Sioux City, Iowa, where she died of her injuries. A Roberts County deputy has made the largest fentanyl seizure in South Dakota history, according to a Facebook post by the Roberts County Sheriff's Office. Officers seized around 16.462 pounds of fentanyl, 53,000 fentanyl lace pills, and 3.4 pounds of fentanyl powder in a traffic stop, which exceeds $2 million in street value. The post also cites the DEA in saying the amount of fentanyl could have killed over 3.6 million people. That is all for the last daily news update of the semester. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Have a great rest of the semester and thanks for watching.